Today is me, Brian G. Welcome back, high five. In this video, I wanna share a simple iMovie hack for the iPad or the iPhone, one that you can use to create an intro video for all your videos. It's a great way to brand your channel. It's a great way to become memorable so people visit your channel, watch more of your videos, and subscribe. We'll get into it in seconds. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. The very thing that's needed for success, like inspiring people to subscribe to your channel. One of the ways you can do that is to create a sticky and memorable channel experience. And one of the ways to do that is to create an intro video that you incorporate into all your videos. Check out this cool animated intro that I made with my iPad in about 10 minutes. So that's the intro video and you can use that at the beginning of all your videos. Now you can also create an outro which is really powerful because as people finish up watching your video, you'll remind them to subscribe to your channel and this can only help you to gain more subscribers. Let's roll the outro that I created in about 10 minutes. Now it's really easy to create these intros and outros. You can create intros for individual videos. You can create one congruent and consistent intro you use often. Let's get started. All right, now I showed you just one template of many that you can use to create really cool trailers to get started. Open to iMovie, click plus, and then come in and click on trailer. I'll do that now and notice we've got a lot of different templates. And because there's many different styles and templates, you can create a lot of different looks. We've got Bollywood coming out, Expedition, Fairy Tale. let's see what that looks like. All right, Once Upon a Time, some pixie dust kind of effects, there was a beautiful girl, etc. We've got Family, Indie. Uh, check this scary one out, this is pretty cool, would be fantastic for Halloween. Doesn't cost you a thing if you've got iMovie, you can use these tools and we're gonna use them in a creative way. So let me show you how I created what you saw. I actually used this theme here called Teen and if we play it, you'll see it begins with the dandelion, which is not really what I want, but because we're editing and because you know we have creativity on our side, we can do a lot of things with what's already been done here to create cool video trailers. Let's get started. I'm gonna select Create. And then here's how this works. Basically, this trailer has a number of different scenes. Many of them are based on this kind of uh, notepad paper style. You can see schools out, and then there's an action scene, there's some scenes, there's clips that you can add in, or you can just use these animations, type in your own text, and create a trailer, uh, or an outro, or whatever you want in that manner. So how do we do it? So first what you're gonna wanna do is grab a piece of paper and a pen and write down uh, five items. You're gonna write down five lines for your outro. Something like, thanks for watching, that's number one. Number two would be you rock or you're awesome or something like that. Number three would be subscribe for more. Number four would be your channel name. So I've got Brian G TV or Brian G Johnson TV. And then lastly, some quirky little saying that you say often. I say dig it a lot, so dig it. Now we can come in and uh, notice on this page we've got outline, and storyboard. In storyboard, uh, you can see it says schools out. That's the se uh, that's the second line. This is the first scene, Brian G. Johnson. The second scene is schools out. So here I could type in thanks for watching. 
However, what I want to share with you is we'll go to schools out in the outline. And notice I've come in and instead of cheerleader or whatever, I've selected theater kid. Again, here you go, theater kid. And now we get this kind of curtains, which is perfect for a video. Let me show you some more. Check out goth. Let's say you want to do something fun and quirky. If you're into new wave or that kind of look or something gothic, well then this is a really cool uh, template to use. And we also have hippie with the peace sign, the flowers, and the rainbow. So we can do a lot. Now I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to select uh, theater kid. And this is perfect. Now I'm going to go back to storyboard. And our first line is, thanks for watching. So here's our theater kids scene. And all I need to do is type in, thanks for watching. And then I'm going to add in my channel name. I'm going to type in Brian G TV. Okay, now one of the things to notice is if I add in a, a lot of text, it's, it's a little smaller. So I like, for this example, I like Brian G TV. Okay, that's awesome. Now I want to go to uh, the cheerleader, and that's not quite what I want. I want something more like that for you rock, that represents the line you rock. I'm going to select rocker. I'm going to go back. And there we go. The rocker. I'm going to type in you plain rock. Okay. So now we have thanks for watching. You plain rock. We need subscribe for more. And the artist is, is really perfect for my channel. So all I need to do here is type in subscribe for more videos. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Now we're going to come down and see where it says summer's here. This is kind of the ending and I want to put my channel name here. Brian G TV and I need one more and that's my fifth line which is uh, dig it okay cool so there we have all our scenes and now what I can do is I can watch kind of through and make sure we have what we need so now what I can do is I can go through and just click these and make sure it looks like I want it to. Thanks for watching, you plain rock. Subscribe for more videos. Dig it. And then Brian G TV. Okay, so now we have what we need. I'm gonna come back to done and this says summer's here. I'm gonna name this as and actually, at this point, I don't like the you plain rock. I just want you rock. Brevity for the win. I'm going to go to storyboard. Click on you plain rock. I'm going to delete plain. I'm going to select done. And let's see our scene. You rock. Here it comes. Perfect. Much better. You rock. And then... Brian G TV and that's kind of the, the wrap up and we're gonna cut all the rest of that and we're gonna edit down remove the music you can't hear the music because I'm doing a screen capture but there is music and because we're gonna edit it well let me just show you what I'm talking about we're gonna come in now and I need to save this footage I'm gonna save it as 1080p okay awesome the footage has been saved I'm gonna go back to projects I'm gonna start with a new project, and this time I'm gonna select movie, and I'm gonna come in and select the most recent video that's been saved. I select that, and then I, at the bottom, I click create movie, it pops in, and now basically it's really pretty simple. We're gonna scrub through, and we're gonna uh, split the clips, 
until we find what we need. I don't need any of this. School's out. I don't need that. I'm just looking for my scenes with my text. Okay, there we go. Boom! Thanks for watching Brian GTV. You see how this is going to work? Pretty darn slick, right? If you haven't watched my iMovie tutorial, I'll link to that in the YouTube card. I go into a lot of depth on how to use iMovie, so check that out. I'll go ahead and split the clip. I select the clip at the beginning that I don't need, and I click delete in the lower right hand corner. And poof, it's gone. And now it comes in and basically everything is great until less comes in. So here's where the next scene begins. I select the clip, I split, and then I scrub until my next one comes in. You rock as I need this clip. Select, split, I select the clip I do not need and I delete it again. Right hand corner, bottom. And now you can see we've got, thanks for watching, Brian GTV, you rock, and it's, it's all making sense. We gotta delete uh, Megan, right? And she comes in right here. Split, scrub until right here. Select, split. Now as I mentioned, notice we've got these, uh, the sound uh, with each clip and now the sound is off because I've, I, I'm deleting scenes, but we're gonna solve that problem. So stick with me here I select again I split I scrub You know making great movies is using the tools you have to the best of your ability and being creative in their application that's really it. We're going to select Luke and he's gone. Subscribe for more videos. The class clown, I don't need that. Don't need that. Scrubbing away. Okay, there's my dig it. Split, select, delete, dig it, and that ends about right here. Split. And then I need the last scene. There it is. I really want to make sure I get these, the timing right here because we really want this to kind of pop in like this. It looks kind of cool. All comes in and bounces. And then here we get the credits. We don't want the credits. Boom. Select, split, delete. And then we've got this scene here too, right? Delete. Okay, let's see the, the order. Thanks for watching, Brian GTV. You rock. Subscribe for more videos. And then you know what I'm gonna do is check this out. See, we can move clips around. So I want Dig It at the very end. Subscribe for more videos, Brian GTV. And then Dig It. Okay, now we've got to fix some things. Again, we've got this audio problem. We've taken a beautiful soundtrack, spliced it into a thousand different things, and uh, we don't want that. So what do we do? We select the clip. Notice we're on actions, and I can detach audio, and then boom, I've deleted the audio. Let's do that again. Select the clip, select detach audio, and then delete. And it's really that simple. Now what we're going to do, and this is kind of a sneaky little hack for you. Notice we've got a trailer that's 16 seconds long. That's pretty good when you make your intro. Notice that my intro in this video that you're watching, my example intro, was about 6 seconds. My intro that I use on every video is five seconds. You really want your intro to be short. Furthermore, do not begin your videos with your intro. And the reason why is you want to get right to the meat. You want to tell people, hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make intros and outros. Or in this video, I'm going to teach you how to bake a cake. And then you roll your intro for branding that's uh, great for your channel and you, but you don't start with that because it's not what the viewers expect and want. They want what you promised in your 
thumbnail and in your uh, video title. So how do we solve our, there's no music sound? Well, we come in to media and we select audio. So notice we have media, audio. And first off, we've got theme music. So we can try some of these different songs if we like. We also can come back, we have sound effects. Here's something pretty cool. Okay, you can go to the YouTube uh, Creator Studio. You can log in, you can download all those free songs that I mentioned. Let me show you where they are. You come into Dashboard, you come into Create, and these are all songs that you can download for free. Okay, you download these songs, and then what you do is you open up iCloud. You should have an account. You can get a free account. You get like five gigs of space. You sign in, and then what you do is you upload the files to your account. Then, when you're in iMovie, okay, remember we're back in iMovie. Uh, let's say you want to add in your own soundtrack. Well, check this out. I click on audio. I go to iCloud Drive. Notice I've got a folder, it says iMovie. So when you access iMovie on the browser using Chrome or Safari, you're gonna scroll to iMovie Drive, then you're gonna select, um, I'm sorry, you're gonna select iCloud Drive, then you're gonna select iMovie, and you can create folders, and notice I have audio tracks, vidmotion, 92 items. I've taken and downloaded a lot of songs that I use in my videos and they're all right here. So I made a, a fun little quirky trailer that was scary. And what did I did? do? I found a sound clip that was free to use that was scary thriller music, right? So in this case, I'm gonna use a song called Quirky and Happy. I'm gonna select that, it drops in. And now what I like to do is in this example, I like to trim to the beat. And notice this little pop right there. Well, I'm gonna trim right there, and that way we're gonna trim to the beat. Here, I'm gonna trim to right here. And by sticking with the beat of the song, it adds depth to the video. So we're gonna do that right here. And this is basically uh, one of the concepts of editing is to keep things moving to the beat, to combine what's happening on the screen with the sound effects and music. And when you do that, you can create a fun and engaging experience. Now at the end, what I like to do is select from the menu volume. I'll click that now. And notice if I select the uh, audio track, I can fade. I'll select that and then I drag it like so. Now, when I'm done, I sim simply select done. And let's see what our uh, outro looks like. And again, think about adding this to every video you do. It can only help you gain more subscribers. And one of the things I do with my videos is I incorporate calls to action about subscribing often, and my subscriber rate is very high. Thanks for watching. Let's start again. Thanks for watching Brian GTV. You rock. Subscribe for more videos. Brian GTV. Dig it. Okay, pretty cool, pretty simple, really easy. Now, now if, if you're new to my channel, Brian GTV here on YouTube, make sure you hit that red subscribe button right now. I upload new movies, new videos all the time talking about video creation, editing, how to leverage YouTube, how to create videos that drive more views, gain more subscribers. Would love to have you as a subscriber. Dig it.